What solves money problems? Financial intelligence solves money problems. Some examples of very common money problems are I don't earn enough money. I'm deeply in debt. I have $10,000. What should I invest in? My child wants to go to college, but we don't have the money. I don't have enough money for retirement. I don't like my job, but I can't afford to quit. I'm retired and I'm running out of money. When I was a young boy, Rich Dad said to me, Money problems make you smarter if you solve the problem. If you do not solve your money problem, that problem often grows into more problems. If you want to increase your financial intelligence, you need to be a problem solver. Rich Dad used the example of having a toothache to illustrate what he meant by a problem leading to other problems. He said, Having a money problem is like having a toothache. If you do not handle the toothache, the toothache makes you feel bad. If you feel bad, you may not do well at work because you are irritable. Not fixing the toothache can lead to further medical complications because it is easy for germs to breed and spread from your mouth. One day you lose your job because you have been missing work due to your chronic illness. Without a job, you cannot pay your rent. If you fail to solve the problem of rent money, you are on the street. Homeless, in poor health, eating out of garbage cans, and you still have the toothache. While an extreme example, that story stayed with me. I realized at a young age the importance of solving problems and the domino effect caused from not solving a problem. Many people do not solve their financial problems when they are small and at the toothache stage. For example, when short of money, many people use their credit cards to cover the shortfall. Soon they have credit card bills piling up and creditors hounding them for payment. To solve the problem, they take out a home equity loan to pay off their credit cards. The problem is they keep using the credit cards. Now they have a home equity mortgage to pay off and more credit cards. To solve this credit problem, they get new credit cards to pay off the old credit cards. Soon they cannot pay their mortgage or their credit cards and decide to declare bankruptcy. The trouble with declaring bankruptcy is that the root of the problem is still there, just like the toothache. Rather than address the root of the problem, spending habits in this case, many ignore the problem. If you don't pull a weed up by the root and only cut off the top, it will come back quicker and bigger. The same is true for your financial problems. While these examples may seem extreme, they are not uncommon. The point is that financial problems are a problem, but they are a solution as well. If people solve problems, they get smarter. Their financial IQ goes up. Once smarter, they can now solve bigger problems. If they can solve bigger financial problems, they get richer.